why a lot of students can't take notes and think at the same time. So they're either writing down brainlessly what's on the board and not actually connecting with the material, or they're listening, but they have a hard time doing both. So what I really wanted to do is help them have a set of notes, but also a set of notes that's clickable. So there's one note taker um, per class, so I have one note taker for AP Bio and one note taker for Biotech. And whenever there's a lesson where I'm actually it's sort of a teacher-centered thing where I'm up there teaching, they turn the pen on and they start writing their notes and it records what I'm saying or what other students are saying at the same time. Uh, so it records everything that they write and then everything that's being said and it links them together. I have one student using it for each class I teach and then all the students have access to the, what they call the pen casts which are the, all of the notes that that student takes and all of the audio that goes with those notes. I think the LiveScribe pen is a great way to provide every student with so a safety net. Yeah, While students always have available to them the, the PowerPoints and the lecture slides and the notes that they may have furiously written down in class, I think it's great to make available to all students a different perspective on the same topic. And then this line is done. It's really helpful for students to review for tests um, because any part of the lessons that they might not be sure of, they can hear exactly what was being said and they can add to their notes and they can see um, what the note taker was doing. So it helps for them too. Um, it actually helps me because when I'm trying to make a test, and I forgot exactly what I said, or did I mention that to them, or did I teach that part? I can actually listen to the pencast, and so sometimes I make tests as I'm listening to my own words being said. So that way I know for sure that all of them have access to that, and I can make the test questions more relevant to their uh, information. Some people have done this with the computer, like they'll have a student taking notes on the computer and actually have the audio running. But for biology, there's all kinds of drawings and diagrams and chemical equations and things that are really hard to do on a computer quickly. So that way, all of the drawings and sketches and things are taken down. And what the students really like is they can actually see when they're looking at the pencast, they can see th the whole page of notes, but they can see the student drawing the notes as they're writing them. I, I think it might be useful for some of the kids who are dysgraphic um, to have their own pens because I know for a dysgraphic student they have to think so much when they're writing. So dysgraphic students have a hard time writing, have a hard time communicating between their brain and their hand. So they have to focus so much on what they're writing that they can't, he they f physically can't hear what's going on. Um, so for them, um, they would only have to write key words down. And then for them, Later on, they, when they're listening to the pencast, they could slowly add notes to it. And not only are they adding to their notes, but they're adding to the electronic file as they're doing it. So it would add to it. So it would really help for kids who can't write fast, or for kids who are having any issues with writing or taking notes. I feel like this live scribe notebook changes the way that I take notes as the class scribe with the pen and the hard copy notes, I've essentially put the teacher into this book and made it available for everybody.